Hey everyone, my name is Florian Mugala and you are watching the channel Beats Basteln, where I typically check out VST plugins. Today we are going to check out some plugins as well, but they are not exactly VST plugins. Plug Data is a visual audio development environment, inspired by Pure Data and Max. Plug Data is free to download, available both as a standalone app as well as in various plugin formats. Plug Data's accessible modular environment workflows apparently make it a nice pick for generative music fans. Similar to Bitwig's grid, but unlike the grid, Plug Data patches can be used in all doors, which makes them more similar to VST plugins, practically speaking. Plug Data could also be compared to Native Instruments Reactor. But Reactor is not free, unfortunately. BlueCat Audio Plugin Script is also a plugin that enables you to come up with your own DSP algorithms. Instead of providing a visual DSP development workflow, you have to define your algorithms in the scripting language AngelScript. I also started with Plugin Script. If you go to the playlists of my channel, you can find the PNS series here, which is a bunch of videos that I recorded for Plugin Script. Plug data can appear like one of those experimental playgrounds for audio nerds, but some members of its community are actually releasing plugins. For example, this one called EV Dynamic All Pass, which was recently released by Aaron Bristow. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It delays spectral bins based on how loud they are. Or check out this halftime clone by Nasco. In this video, I cover both of these plugins. But instead of talking about the plugins while testing them, I decided to pre record a little bit of a jam in which I used the plugin so that I could focus solely on getting a nice sound. I will now skip through that recording and just explain the moments that felt special to me. It all started with me working on some bass patch in Serum. I ended up with this crispy sounding levitating cadence tone. I added dynamic all pass to the chain to let the bass sound more fluid. I especially enjoyed the sound of modulating the feedback offset parameter. Making separate instances of dynamic all pass for each channel resulted in a phenomenal stereo width. Chroma, a plugin made by Nasco as well, but even released as a VST plugin, is a nice tool to harmonize all the noise of this bass patch. The reason why a lot of my sounds sound so ethereal is because I always add a lot of layers with fancy resonation. Like here where pokey spiff transients run through riff feedback light in key tracking mode to fuel a long reverb.
I needed another melody. I wanted something that sounds like it just keeps falling. But at the same time I wanted it to be melodic, like a good chiptune song. Maybe something heroic? complex and ended up being some sort of funky synthwave art thingy. sound of the arp a bit. Knowing I want to throw the spectral delay at it, I needed it to be spectrally interesting to begin with. Time for dynamic all pass. By the way, here's some information about the parameters. Delay amount is how much delay is applied to the bins. Delay smooth defines how much a bin's volume impacts surrounding bins. Delay decay is basically a release parameter for the internal envelope followers. The large slider right below the spectrum analyzer is a brick wall low cut. It doesn't low cut the sound, but it low cuts the delaying. That way you can keep the fundamental frequency of your sound thick and strong and only wash out the transients of it. One thing I really like to do is putting dynamic opas into a multiband container. That made it easier to create gradual transients from dry to wet throughout the spectrum. Putting dynamic all pass in parallel with the dry signal often seems to add nice body to the sound without sounding too phasey. It's time for end slow mo. It's slow mo things. You can put it in parallel with a dry signal to give the sound some more oomph in the low mids. I need a more tidy version of this bass to keep on enjoying where this is going. Too much in the way of the other stuff. 
So I reworked a bunch of the effects in the chain. On top of that, I added another layer for the bass that is just about to clean part of the signal. Attaching the note modulator to the cutoff of a filter key tracks it perfectly in Serum, which is nice for bringing up one of the harmonics of the input signal to shape the character of the sound. Despite it being a pretty background one in general, this is important to give the bass warmth and character. It was time to make some drums, in particular a kick. Diopsa by Robert is a great free plugin for dispersing kicks to round off the low end. Suddenly I had a specific pattern of velocity notes in my mind and I decided to add it to the mix with a Hyatt sound. Noisy hi-hats like this create nice chaos when being modulated by dynamic all pass. Here we have some rim sample as a snare. It's not very strong yet, but you can use my plugin Slew Over to crush it. Mix it with a dry signal and it's thick. The cool thing about things like claps and snares is you can place them a little offbeat to add a cooler type of impact to your snares than just a single transient punching through. This is what it sounds like to half time the entire beat. I 
I decided to have a half time beat in parallel with a dry beat. But then give the half time beat a different sound character. Turned out to be the kind of thing you want to turn on and off rhythmically. I didn't have enough dynamic all pass instances in this project yet, so here's another one. I bounce the halftime beat so that I can manually offset its position a bit. All this delaying and reverberation stuff has shifted it in time too much. It's time to bring some arrangement into it. The loud part needs something new. Time for Synth 1 by Ichiru Toda to shine. One patch can get even better with some cool spectral effects sometimes. Pressing the sound hard brings up the pre ring induced by the spectral processes some more, which lets the notes glue into each other more juicily in my opinion.
All right, this is the beat. 